Roxana Martinas, you are from Hungary and you are a CEO of Fuse and uh, responsible to the sector of uh, Central Europe and North. Yes, that's sure. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> and uh, the first question is you are from Sea of Youth and you are the next leaders and uh, you should uh, keep the tradition and uh, all the intangible uh, culture and uh, what do you plan? How do you plan to do it? Well, it's, <laughs> it's not an easy question because as you can see, the world has totally changed and we need um, new instruments to implement our culture, to, to make understand the new generation that um, we have to implement our old customs, um, celebrations uh, to the new one because they don't really know. And I think we can mm, just make a good example for them because we are the, the same age. And if they see that we, uh, we make a good, um, let's say, project, um, we might motivate them. Can you give an example how can you do it? Because uh, I'm elder and uh, I don't know how to, uh, to tell a young uh, person how to, um, or to make him interested in this uh, culture. Yes, I, I think the most simple way uh, using social media because the new generation uh, are using social media all day, all night and all those things that they see on those platforms uh, are um, full of motivation. So let's, it's like now. Uh, due to the virus, everybody started to do videos, pictures, challenges, and I think this is a good way to to introduce them this world. And uh, this time you can dance uh, in a group just by Zoom, but afterwards uh, you believe that more younger young people will come to dance, for example? Yes, yes. Personally, I really miss my dance group. And uh, as I hear from, from the parents of the children, they, they miss the dance as well. And uh, I think people now are realizing that how sad <laughs> is being alone. And uh, they are also starting uh, doing and knowing new activities. And folk dance can be one of these. And they would like the folk dance because uh, uh, people are going to discotheque or to pubs or they are dancing something else, but not the <laughs> national uh, folk. Uh, how you, you can convince them to, to come to the old uh, dance and the, all the intangible culture? Well, uh, we often do flash mobs, for example, in our capital city, Budapest. And people are really interested in because when uh, a lot of people on the street and you start to dance, they, they just don't know this style and they start to look at and then they like it. So this, um, I would say, flash mobs and uh, community programs where, where you can introduce your, your part and convince people to do that. And you are sharing information with the other, key, uh, other young uh, movements from other countries to know uh, other system, how to convince a young uh, generation to dance, to, uh, to be interested in this? Well, I, in the last few weeks, I have seen a lot of good examples because uh, I'm also organizer of Summer Fest. I don't know if you know uh, our festival in Hungary. Uh, one of the biggest European festivals and I have a lot of friends from there and we keeping in touch every every uh, week they are from different countries from all around the world and I can see good examples how they do how they try to to get closer to to use and you have now uh, the system how to to do it in your country and to advise other countries how to do it yeah, I, I wouldn't say that we, we are totally ready with this, but this project in progress. Mm -hmm. And uh, at last, what do you wish for a CEOF? It's a 50 years anniversary and uh, we should do a big celebration in Hungary. We don't know yes, we don't know uh, uh, if no because of the corona, but what do you wish as a, 
uh, young uh, woman? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm really grateful and thankful to keep the 50th anniversary Congress in my country. It's a great honor. And I wish to see off to, to keep this, um, I would say, uh, thinking and uh, persistence during more and more years. And I would be really happy if one day my kids could participate in this system because it gives opportunity to get to know new people, get closer to, to foreign culture and, uh, and to programs that you don't have the opportunity in, in another place, for example, in a school. You know, the internet uh, can let us uh, speak. I, I'm speaking with you. I'm from Israel. I'm speaking for me, with you in Hungary, uh, with Khan in Turkey, uh, with Tatiana uh, in the other side of, uh, of the world. But we need to meet. There yes, is nothing true. that you can replace the face-to-face -face meeting, the real meetings. Yes, it would be really important and I hope that the virus won't affect our Congress because we are sure that all the summer uh, events are cancelled. We also cancelled our festival, but it's very sad. But until October we have a lot of time, we have to wait and see how things are going. But now we cannot do anything, just be patient. But meet in the Zoom and speak and uh, share information. Yes, that's a good platform. And I think that's, um, that's the biggest uh, change in 2020, that although we have to stay home, we can keep in touch, we can see each other. Of course, we cannot touch each other, but we can see and listen, and it's, it's really important. We can't touch, we can't hug, we can't dance, but we can yes. Uh, talk. <laughs> yes, of course. Oksana Martinez. Thank you very, very much and good health to you, to the family and for all your friends. And we wish that we'll be able to meet soon. Thank you very much. I wish you the same.